So we're gonna go easy money <laughs> or not so easy. Easy money, Johnny. Fluffy Hernandez. Easy money. Brendan Allen. <laughs> easy money. Imovov. Not so easy money, but he gasses. So. Easy, money, easy, easy money, easy, easy money. Easy. 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 Come on, this one's easy money, bro. This one's easy money. Best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me The Money. Welcome back, everybody, to the Show Me The Money podcast. Today, we have a very special guest. We're going to be going over the UFC Vegas 99 recap and the PFL weekend. First of all, big congratulations to Johnny Eblen on his win this weekend. Welcome to the show, brother. Let's go. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Absolutely, bro. So before we dive into that PFL card, guys, one fight I want to go over real quick, UFC Vegas 99. And it's a great fight to talk about since in the 185 pound division, Anthony Hernandez looked phenomenal in my opinion. I uh, had a couple yeah. 10, eight rounds, got that round five finish. I cashed on that round five bet, by the way. Uh, but I'm was, so happy. How much do you want to talk about that fight? Just because he he finally look at these. I finally cashed. He finally, I finally, he finally cashed. got right. Hey, 12 to one odds, round five finish. But I was I was freaking out because I I thought Herb Dean wasn't going to stop the fight, but. Anyways, he looked phenomenal. Uh, Michelle looked very tired going into round two, uh, yeah. round three. Uh, he looked really good early in round one. But what did you guys make of that fight? I don't even think he looked that 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 good. You know, I think Michelle looked very bad. You know, I, I was talking to Michelle, and then I, I did a little like not interview, but we just sit down and talk for my my YouTube channel in Portuguese, and he was very fun. Bro, he showed me a couple of videos. He's pointing with Strickland. He's pointing a couple of guys. He said he did set six rounds, seven rounds, but he said he was in amazing shape. But I think he messed up very bad on the weight cut, you know, but he said he's not going to say anything. He don't want to give no excuse, but he said he, the weight cut was horrible. And uh, he kind of, he said after 30 seconds, after that first, the kick and the first blow that I throw, he said I was so tired already. And I gave the little thing that I had, I give on the, on the guillotine. And then he looked terrible. So... I don't even think Fluffy looked that good. I think Pereira looked very bad, you know. So what do you think about that fight, Johnny? Did you watch this fight? I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to have to watch that. Um, but I heard Fluffy's like a leech. Like he gets on you and he just doesn't stop. And he's very consistent with that. And um, Pereira's huge, like a big, a, a really big athletic guy. and does like a lot of big movements. And him having a bad weight cut is, is never good, especially – you know, if you're going five rounds. So I could totally see that coming into play during a fight, you know, having a bad weight cut, you know, you're a big explosive guy, you go in there and it's five rounds and you have a guy that's, you know, has a really good gas tank and that can break you down. Um, I'm going to definitely have to watch that fight though. Um, I just haven't had a chance. I've been traveling and uh, today is my first day back home. So uh, I'm definitely going to watch it back today. And, I, I want to go crazy over here, the question. You still have a lot of fights in your contract. How's that going? When are we going to see you in the UFC? Dude, I got <laughs> I got three fights left, um, and we're just going to – I'm going to fight them out and, and see what happens, you know. Um, there's – there. I mean, there's a lot of little intricacies in contracts. You know, they expire at a certain time and whatever. But I'm, I'm, I'm not super focused on that. I'm more focused on just, you know – staying winning and, and continuing to fight and t continuing to get better. And then however everything plays out, it's going to play out. Because I can see you fighting a lot of guys in the UFC because uh, at the top, kind of top five in the UFC is not a high-level wrestler. You, know, you got Drikus Dupress over there. You got Strickland. We got uh, uh, who else is in there? Adesanya. Whitaker. Whitaker and Imavov, right, if I'm not yeah. wrong. But those guys can all wrestle like you, you know. They, a couple guys don't have your gas tank. I think right now you do – a fight's a fight, but I think you do pretty well at the UFC. You kind of see that way too. How how do you see the division in the UFC? Yeah, I completely agree. There's nobody in the division that is like me. I, if you throw me in, in that mix, I, I throw a big wrench in, in, into everybody's plans because I can out-wrestle pretty much everybody, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's like Whitaker can wrestle, but he, he he's better on his feet. Um, yeah. 
And then Shemaev is a little bit different with his wrestling. It's not like a heavy, like D1, like college wrestling type style. And then Duplessis is more of a grappler, not a wrestler. Yeah. So I think I match up really, really well with everybody. And like you said, a fight's a fight. Anything can happen. But going in there with the skill sets that I have, I, I have, you know, I, I really believe in myself. I think I can beat anybody in the world. No, I agree, and and I'm asking this because we, the way we see right now, Michael Chandler, when he moved to the UFC, he had one fight with Dan Hook, and boom, he fought for the title. And then we had a Kayla Harrison, one fight, kind of. She, I think she she could go that direct for the title, but she had to do two more fights. But then we see this Japanese guy now that's fighting Pantoja, Kai Asakura. He's going that bullshit, my brother. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> crazy, like, right? Crazy. Up. Yeah. They need they but, need they need Kyoji, man. Yeah, yeah. they need Kyoji back too. Yeah. But but then but, but then when we're gonna you have Kyoji yeah. versus Pantoja, that's not good too. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not that's the thing. Right now that Pantoja's a champ, bringing in Kyoji at that time is yeah. kind of it's like ah, you know. But but we see the we we'll see, see that on the gene all the time. So yeah, 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 it's we a, do. <laughs> yeah. So, but but that's why I asked him because those guys are going like maybe one fight or directly for the title. And uh, and I think with you, it has to be the same, you know, because you've been dominating all these guys on Bellator, PFL now. So the goal will be, for sure, you, you cannot say that, but you're healthy, you want to stay busy now and fight, and then you see after the contract is gone? Yeah, so I just want to stay busy, make make as much money as possible with the current contract that I have, and, you know, put on good performances, continue to get better, and, and keep winning. Because that's, that's one thing that... uh. Like Chandler didn't do, uh, yeah. Kayla Harrison didn't do. They both had a loss, you know. Yes. But the thing is, is they're still one one of the best in the world. I think Kayla's the best in the world at, in her sure. division. But I want to be different in that aspect where when I transfer over, I'm if I transfer over, w whatever. Yeah. We, we, yeah. I can't. I can only speculate right now. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Where it's like, oh, this guy's undefeated. He's beaten everybody, and you know, one fight. <laughs> He's fighting for a world championship after that, you know. Um, I want to be different in that aspect. Uh, You're so trying yeah. to get on, on a 205 two on Bellator or just, just want to keep fighting at 185 as of right now? I'm starting to run out of options at 185 in Bellator, so I may yeah. have to go up to 205. I, I don't know yet. I think right now they want me to fight Brunson um, on, on a collaborative card with PFL and Bellator. That, that fight makes sense. Um, I like that fight. Uh, yeah, other than that, I think the only other options I have is Costello Van Stinas. He's like a kickboxer in, in the Netherlands. Hey. Um, he's, he's a good fight. He's a guy that I could fight on the Bellator side. Uh, also, you have uh, Impa. We, we had a tough fight the last go around. So, stuff, yeah. yeah, you could do that rematch um, if it works out, if our schedules align. Um, but then after that, there's really nobody else, and I would have to go up a weight class to, to fight uh, Corey Anderson. Yeah, I like those three fights for you, Derek Brunson. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I like those fights. I, I like that guy. That guy came to the, the, the Dutch guy. He, Castello yeah, yeah, came yeah. to train with us. Nice guy, tough, too. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Trains but with Musasi, too. I think he trains with Musasi, so he's kind of like, yeah. uh, like trying to get it back for his gym. So, you know, there's, there's a little, uh, little history um, with him nice. and me. So, yeah, man, I think any of those fights you could, you could definitely promote. And, and I think, you know, they're going to be good fights. Johnny, have you ever seen, yeah. have you ever yeah. seen Moikana's uh, segment? It's the easy money or not so easy money clips. Have you seen this? Yeah, before? I've seen that. I've seen that. Right. I've seen so that. Since, since Gilbert brought up the topic. We got to run through it real quick. I'm going to give you some oh, 185 or names. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go easy money. <laughs> Or not so easy. None of, them, none of them are easy money, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll easy get, money, Johnny. <laughs> easy money, easy money. We'll get started right off the top with Marvin Vittori. Oh, not so easy money, man. I train with this guy. Fluffy Hernandez. Easy money. Brendan Allen. <laughs> easy money. Jerry Cannonier. Easy money. He's getting too old. Caio Bralo. Not so easy Ohio. money. He's tough. Bralo. Uh, Imovov. 
not so easy money, but he gasses. So easy money, easy, easy money. Bro. Easy, <laughs> easy, easy money. Come on, this one's easy money, bro. This one's easy money. <laughs> Derek Brunson. I thought he played with you, Gilbert. I thought easy he was. Who? I thought uh, uh, Imavav. Imavav. Yeah, I thought he was from your no, team. Easy no, easy money. Easy, easy money. money. He's from France. He's from France. He's from France. Yeah. Robert Whitaker. Not so easy money. Uh, Israel Adesanya. Easy money, my style. Sean Strickland. Not so easy money. Drickus Duplessis. Not so easy money. That's going to be a, a war, you know? You got to come up one. on top. Last Hamza one. Chamaya. Not so easy money. It's a tough matchup, man. I, I mean, really? I, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen him in metal weight, so it's hard. It's hard to tell. I've only yeah, seen I him. thought you were going to say easy money. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. Right. Me, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like everybody's hard, a tough fight, except some of the guys you, you, you explained. But I feel like, you know, when you're in the top, the top five guys, you know, it's, it's always going to be a tough fight, I feel like. For sure. Hey, Johnny, uh, first of all, congratulations on a win, brother. I want to say you are a big inspiration to everybody on American Top Team. Uh, undefeated guy, a wrestler, always show up to the gym, always helping everybody. So congratulations on, on your success. And, and to me, it's hard to say that because everybody talks about UFC, but to me, I think you're the best middleweight in the, in the, in the world right now, like skill-wise, striking, grappling, like, the, like Gilbert and Maddy, they say there is not many wrestlers. Now we're going to have Bonico, and I want to you talk about a little bit about Bonico. Uh, what do you think of his future in UFC? How good he, he is and if he, if he can be champion? And, and do you consider yourself the best right now? Or do you think you need to go to the UFC to prove that you're the best? I believe that I can beat everybody in the world. And I appreciate you uh, for, for, you know, saying all that stuff about me. It really means a lot, Moicano. I look up to you, bro. I've looked up to you since the beginning uh, when I came to the gym. I remember when we used to train back in the day a bunch. We used to beat yeah. each other up a little bit. <laughs> no, uh, brother, I'm at 55. You, you always yeah, think but still, you're, so much. Your skill level, bro, your skill level is very good. But uh, I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. But I think I can beat anybody in the world. It's just hard to go up and, and state something when you can't fight everybody in the world. So that's my only issue right now. Um, but I believe it, man. I think if you lock me in the cage with anybody, I, I have a very, very good shot at winning. And um, – to, uh, to go back um, and talk about Bo. Bo has uh, been at the gym a little bit more recently, and I got to train with him a little bit before this fight, and he was very, very helpful. He's a great teammate, um, very knowledgeable, especially when it comes to wrestling and grappling and that, that aspect of fighting. The only thing that he needs to work on a little bit is uh, striking, and he's very, very new to it, and I think he will pick it up. I think he will – get much better in the coming years, um, just like I did. Around, around the beginning, my grappling was my strong suit. Now it's, it's my striking's good too. So uh, it made my wrestling even better and being able to mix it up. And I think he's going to have a very similar path. Um, I think he has a very, very bright, bright future. He has all the tools to become a champion, and he has a mindset of a champion. I mean, this guy, you know, multiple-time uh, NCAA champion. Um, so – he understands how to compete at a high level and how to become a champion. He just has, he just has to redo it again um, in a different art. And, uh, yeah, I believe in him, man, and I think he's very, very, very good. And I'm glad that I'm able to train with him and, and be a teammate. And, and another thing, like, you're talking about his striking, but he has knockouts. He has, like, uh, his, his jiu-jitsu is very underrated because – he has some submissions on his on his record, so I really think he's very very a good fighter. But let me go in another topic here because I remember on 2020 you were a huge crypto guy, right? Bitcoin guy, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Back in the day, you yeah. you still you still uh, believing in Bitcoin? Bitcoin is huge right now, right? Almost yeah. all time high yesterday. So how do you feel? You still buy? Do you still uh, are into crypto or you're done with that? Yeah, I'm a little bit in, into crypto. Um, still, I I still have some Ethereum. I have some Bitcoin, I, I'm pretty sure. And then I also have some money that's invested in a fund. 
Um, yeah. But I'm not as invested as I was previously. I let's just say when when that market crash, it crashes hard. Yeah, it crashes a little bit harder than like stocks, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and like, yeah. yeah, it's not as tried and true as uh, as stocks. It's like kind of like the dot com bubble. A lot of people invested in like a lot of different companies, and some of them didn't make it. But the ones that did make it, you know, people are making yeah. billions of dollars off of. You know, yeah. crypto is very similar in that aspect. Um, but I I basically kind of took a step back after that all happened, and I decided to start investing more in real estate and in rentals and that yeah. has been a little bit more uh secure and slow pace and i also you know with rentals i get i, I make cash flow and uh everything's in us dollar so it, it i mean which is it, it's inflation it, it, it has inflation and there's all these other issues with it and that's why you need to invest that us dollar into other stuff but diversify yeah, you got to you got to diversify, which I am. You know, I I am diversified. Yeah. I need to get a I need to get more crypto though. Now that I think about it, um, <laughs> but I am buying another house after this fight, um, another rental. Um, I'm, nice. Once you do it once, dude, it, it gets addicting. And then like once you when, when you look at the long term of uh, real estate, benefits, it, it, there's a lot of benefits, and it's not really yeah. gonna. I mean, if it does crash, you're gonna make your money back in 20 years. Yeah, not yeah, like that, you. Yeah. I'm a conservative yeah. in that way too. I'm getting more properties. Yeah, like, yeah. more conservative. It's more conservative. Yeah. Than, but but yeah. let me let me let me tell you something, my brother. I remember four years ago, Johnny was huge on crypto. I was. Everybody saying, "You have to buy this. I have to buy that." And that was the first time that I buy Bitcoin because everybody was talking about. But I remember the worst advice. Johnny gave to everybody was he was saying, <laughs> brother, you have to put your, your your money on Celsius because Celsius pay a lot of interest. Like oh I, yeah, I Celsius. Celsius. Um, there was another it? one. It was uh, this is the one I lost a lot of money on. Luna. <laughs> Luna. Luna. What you would yeah. do is you would convert your stable coin, or yeah. you would buy their stable coin, which is UST, yeah. and then you would you put it in whatever you would stake it with them or like invest it yes. with them. And you would like get a high APY. It was like 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 twelve percent or something. Yeah, yeah. I think it was and, huge. Uh, and I say I'm not I'm not sure, my brother. That's too much had a money. Death I lost a lot of money on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Celsius wow. was was terrible. But yes, yes yeah. That, I'm still getting like emails like, hey man, you got like some Bitcoin on here. It's like it's like probably like twenty bucks. They're like trying yeah. to get, like pick it up. Like hey man, get your get your money. Get your twenty dollars in Bitcoin. Yeah. Hey, hey, John, let me ask you another thing, brother. So, so since you are in the same division, what do you think about Shimaev and Whitaker? Because they are from, from the same division. Give your, your predict for the fight. How do you think that fight going to go? I think Whitaker's going to beat Shimaev. Um, I think he's a better – he's better on the feet. I think he's better on the feet. I think Shimaev's going to be surprised when he can't hold, hold him down. And it's going to – going to kind of mess with Chemayev's uh, game plan, just like how Gilbert kind of messed with Chemayev's game plan. Um, I mean, I don't think he was prepared for Gilbert to get back up and to be able to fucking hurt him, dude. You know, if you can hurt him and he respects your punch, it, it's a different fight. And if he goes in there and he tries to brawl with Whitaker, I don't think that's a good idea, you know. And I think that guy, I think that guy only really knows how to bully people for the most part. So when it comes becomes a technical battle – it's going to be a different type of battle, and I like I like uh, Whitaker when it comes to a technical battle. Whitaker's a two two to one underdog. I saw Volkanovski wow. actually even said he was like, "I'm surprised, you know, Whitaker's a dog in this fight." That's I crazy. mean, I think Whitaker has like, or I think Chamayev has like seven minutes to get Whitaker out of there, and then it's going to be a tough fight from there. I agree. I don't even think it's seven minutes to be honest, because. The way I see is Shimaev is a bully, bro. He's gonna try to 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 eat you on that first two three minutes. If and that that's come a lot to the strategy. If I do believe, if Whitaker go face to face with him, like not letting or let this guy get tired, now like no way, like I'm not gonna let this guy try to bully me. If it, the two car crash on that first round, is over. I think Rob Whitaker take over like quick. But if we could kind of like let him get a little good positions and let the guy get on top, or like try to think and get this guy tired, he's gonna be a hard night for Whitaker. But I do believe Whitaker wins this fight too. I agree. That's actually a good, 
good uh, way to break it down. A, a lot of people are talking about how re- uh, Whitaker wrestling is good because he faced no, Romero. Romero, right? But Romero didn't really shoot. Yeah. So do you guys he shoot? What do you think? It's different. What? It's different. It's different styles too. Like uh, Romero's a freestyle wrestler. I think Whitaker was a freestyle wrestler. Like I think that's how he learned. Yes. You don't really learn how to ride and like how to do mat returns. I mean, you can, but it's it's a different type of conditioning. It's a different style. Um, because like freestyle is really like more high amplitude throws and high high amplitude takedowns, but you don't really learn how to like ride and 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 float on top of guys and and keep them down. Yeah, yeah. But and, but Drukus took him down, right? Drukus the plus took him down. Like that was yeah, that was yeah. my thing. Yeah. You know, Romero didn't took him down, but Drukus took him down. We're just like, uh. and he knocked him out too, right? Yeah, he knocked so, him out. It's so crazy. Yeah. So. <laughs> I was so at that. I was at that fight live. I had Robert Whitaker as the last leg of every parlay you could ever imagine. Oh no! And I, I couldn't. I I went viral for my prediction video for the wrong reason. I was. I oh. literally said word for word. I was like, I was like, uh, Whitaker is better in every aspect of MMA. And then it gets taken. But he is. That's two. the it's fucking taken problem. Down, it's not. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And you're not lying. He is, but he's still losing because <laughs> Drukas the press is so awkward. He's like so strong. He's crazy to fight that guy yeah. because he, you look, I trained with him a couple of times and even on the training room, sometimes you take him down or you do something, he looks tired, you know, he looks like, <gasps> you can see, oh, yeah. he's getting tired now, let's go. And out of nowhere, his energy comes back and he's freaking awkward and changes things and walking forward, walking backwards, punching very hard and he, he, yeah. he's a weird, you know, he, he's a very and awkward he, dude take, to fight. He's super awkward, he'll, he'll get hit to, t- to, to try to hit you. Um, yeah, dude. It's like, he's like, um, it's almost like he's like a zombie dude or like an ogre or something. You know what I mean? Like a big monster that you're trying to like, what the fuck? You're trying to like get him to settle down and get him to get tired. And he just doesn't get tired. Yeah. Um, very, what very would you figure what, it out? Yeah. 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 What would you, what, what would be the game plan if you, one day you face, uh, Drico Duplessis? Take down, striking? Take downs and striking and countering him when he's coming in and, not always backing up. Sometimes you have to car crash with him. But car, like the thing is, is he hasn't been car crashing with a guy that can out wrestle him as well. Yes. So it's like he's used to being in the car crash, but being the guy that can take the guy down. But when it's when when you both can take each other down, it, it makes it interesting, you know. Um, and especially a guy that can ride on top and and kind of keep him down and slow him down. And when he's awkward. Like hit him and be able to take him down, because I think when he's fighting these guys, he's only really worried about like getting knocked, like knocked the fuck out. And yeah. even then, he's not even that worried because he's taking hits and he's not really thinking too much. From what I heard, like he's uh he's not too much of like a strategic type of fighter. He's yeah. more of like I'm just gonna get in a war and however it plays out, it's gonna play out. And how do you think the the rematch will go between Sean and and Duplessis? I think Sean took away from the first fight that he needs to be a little bit more active and a, he needs to press forward more and press the action more. Um, because in the first fight, Duplessis was definitely the guy moving forward much more. He was going for the takedowns, but Sean was still hitting him on the way in, but it's like the optics of it. It's like Sean's backing up, Duplessis is moving forward. And it's like, even though Sean may be hitting him, maybe landing, maybe hurting him, he is getting backed up, getting pushed to the cage, getting taken down. Um, didn't really get held down too much uh, from what I remember from Duplessis. But I think Sean, you know, will have more urgency this time around and will move forward a bit more. Yeah. And, and let me ask you something. Since he, we are talking about Whitaker underdog, what do you think about uh, Max Holland be this huge underdog for the fight? Do you think? Oh, that's crazy. That Max huge Holland, underdog, right? He's a huge underdog. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so it's, 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 it's a Poria is a minus two sixty favorite. What? Max Holloway is a plus two hundred dog. Actually, what's plus two hundred dog, bro. That is the Poria. The, the wow. being taller, versus, being former champ. The That's crazy. crazy. Thing, the crazy thing is the Whitaker Chamaya fight and the Taporia Holloway fight. The odds are like identical. You have Whitaker and Holloway are both two to one underdogs. That's crazy. That, that makes no sense to me. Do, do, do you gamble, Johnny? I don't because 
I, I, <laughs> I'm you terrible can. sometimes. I'm terrible with my give, picks sometimes. Give, sometimes a little, I'm, give a little advice to, to Maddie, Johnny. <laughs> no, do not gamble. <laughs> it's too Gambling late for me, bad. bro. It's, it's over for me. It's, it's over it's for me. Late. The, the motherfucker makes a life of losing, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey, who? Hey, hold on, hold on. He hold just won. He who, just won. Who, who like picked Francis? Who picked Francis this weekend? You guys were both on Hanan. Yeah. Bro, Brazilian, bro. I'm, I'm down bad. I'm down <laughs> Brazilian, bro. Don't even Man, talk about that, bro. Hanan, I feel like Hanan accepted bottom for too long. He was uh, yes. He was trying to do some jujitsu off his back, which is not bad, but it's like a, spe a heavyweight, bro. That's different. Like if you get yeah, hit a couple times a heavyweight from ground and pound, it's a different did story. You guys, did you guys all expect Francis to shoot that early in the fight? Of course no, bro. Of course well, Connor, no. We got to talk about something, by the way. So. I, I got a lot of we get, you got a lot of heat on Twitter. I think you called Francis out. Let's talk about that, by the way. Yeah, my brother, I got I got a lot of heat. <laughs> That's why I'm not not going on Twitter. <laughs> but, <laughs> what did you say? Tell us, tell us what happened, bro. Tell us what happened. No, what happened was I was trying to make a joke, my brother, because <laughs> because I shoot for taking downs on the first second every fight. <laughs> every brother, I'm not gonna strike against a strike anymore. And then when Francis shoot, I say, what the fuck? Don't be a fucking pussy, my brother. And then people went crazy. <laughs> ah, you motherfucker, you shoot for the take downs at the time. I, I was trying to make a joke, but I think people people are so dumb that they don't understand, you know? Dude, no, you're right. People are very, very dumb, bro. That's hilarious. That's such a great joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. yeah that, that was the joke, brother. Uh... I'm calling him pussy because... Look, my last fight. Five seconds, I shoot for the takedown, take my brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I thought that Hena uh, uh, would survive the first round, and then they would have like exchange. But Francis was just too much, and then my joke was completely misunderstood. So fuck you, you all on Twitter, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think that was a little bit of a late stoppage? That was pretty yes, close. I yes, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. I was sitting there watching it live. And I was like, bro. Stop, please. please. Like, stop the fight. Like, what are you doing? This guy is almost 300 pounds. Like, <laughs> fuck, Throwing bro. Bombs. Yeah, no, my yeah. God. Brother, and, and it's so frustrating, you know, because I was I, I was watching. That's the problem with, with like, uh, 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 heavy friends fighting, you know, because I know Hena's problema, like, history, very humble beginnings, like, work hard to get his his shot you know and then he's on the top of the world like pfl champion uh with with the chance to make a lot of money to beat ingano and then he lost in, in, in such a so fast yeah. so fast devastating yeah and i said man fighting is is tough and i remember myself in my first main event when i faced uh korean zombie it was the same like five seconds ko Brother, it's so bad. People don't realize how bad it is to lose, brother. And especially in that way. So, so I was really frustrated with the fight. And but congratulations, Ingano. I guess you are one of the best ever, right, on the heavyweight. What do you guys want to see next for both guys? Because it's tough. For, like, who does Francis fight next? And then for Hanan as well. Now Hanan gotta go back to the tournament, right? He gotta try to win the tournament again. I think, and especially after that fight, he need, bro, he need a little time off to recover, bro. Those couple blows on the back of the head, couple big blows. So, I think he should take a little time off, recover, and uh, come back to the tournament. Don't try to win that tournament again. And if I was Francis Ngannou right now, that guy need to do, do a, another huge boxing match, like a big one, maybe. Deontay Wilder, some fool, someone like that, or he gotta, he needs to make a big, like crazy money fight. Those Saudi Arabia guys paying a lot of money to another big fight there. Maybe I think that's it. I think one more boxing fight and that's it. But then, if you want to face the other PFL heavyweight champion later, maybe. But I think one more boxing fight and poop, that's it. <laughs> I agree yeah. a thousand percent with that, dude. That's exactly what both of them should do. I think Hanan needs to get back in there after taking some time off. Uh, get you know, win win a win a world uh, a heavyweight world title again um, in the tournament. And then honestly, I think Nagano needs to box Deontay Wilder. I think I, I want to watch that. I want to see that. Yeah. yeah, they can both knock each other out. And Deontay Wilder isn't technically like a really really good technical boxer. 
And uh, I think it'd be a good way to match up an MMA guy with a, a boxing guy that because because matching up an MMA guy with a high high level boxer, it's not as interesting as just putting two punchers together. And yeah, I think uh, that would be a good fight. And another yeah, thing and- too, he needs to make. We need to make a move. You know, we need a move from the presence in Ghana life. Like Dude, guy came in, homeless. Go to France, go to jail, then go back, and then they, they, that would be a freaking movie. Then move to US and UFC champion, get out of UFC, everybody doubting the guy, and then go to a boxing. Kind of won that first one against Tyson Fury. They didn't give to him, but he kind of won it. Then get knocked out very bad, and then his son died, and then now he beats Renan. He, he's a freaking movie, you know? They got to make a movie from that. They do. Hey, Gilbert, let me ask you something because. Yesterday, you were in a live on, on the Brazilian channel talking, the people were talking about uh, Francis Ngannou and Problema. Do you really, do you really think that he was talking about his son, Hena Problema, or was like no. a misinterpretation? He was really talking about yeah. the son? No, I was talking to him and then uh, we actually went to the church and then I saw him at the church. Like, it, it felt awkward because he said this, he said it, but then, when you translate it, that's how you should translate it. He kind of, he kind of Portuguese said, "Hey, I know he's been through a lot of problems right now, but I'm the biggest problem that he ever gonna see." That's what he meant. No, 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 nothing about your kid, nothing. But mm-hmm. the way, if you translate word by word, you okay. have to say it. Hey, I know you have been through a lot. You just lost your son. It's a big problem, but I'm the biggest problem. He kind of like. He didn't mean that, but if you translate word by word in Portuguese, doesn't mean it. But if you translate word by word in English, it kind of says that, but he didn't mean it. So it was crazy because whenever he made that interview and Home of Five put a video, the video was kind of was added. He had a little added on the video. When he said it on Home of Five, <laughs> me and Mori kind of like, no, he didn't say that. He didn't mean that. And then when I actually saw the real video, and then I'm like, if I do translate, he says that way, but he nah. didn't mean that. But then if he says yeah. that way, you just talk about Twitter right now. Everybody go crazy thinking that he said it, but he didn't mean it. No, I think, yeah. no, not even if you were a piece of crap, you're not going to mean that, you know, like no one going to talk about your kids, but he's a so, nice dude. I kind of, I kind of felt yeah. bad because he's a nice dude, and then when they asked me to translate word by word, he said, but he didn't mean it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, so let me ask you another question. So, do you think that was the extra shots because he was mad at him because of that? Uh, I don't think so. I think he was just trying to destroy the guy. You know, like, <laughs> I don't he know. was just trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I think when you're in the fight, you're just throwing bombs. You know, like the guy's a giant. If you let that guy come up, we might be in trouble. Let Let's finish the job right here. And the that, in my opinion, is not the fighter's choice. That's a judge. You know, you out there to put the guy out. The judge gotta be there watching. Whenever the guy's out, the judge gotta pull you off. You don't have to pull yourself off. Just if it's a super clean knockout, otherwise it makes the Jalen turn a mistake. Remember. You killed Jalen, but Jalen, Jalen, like... <laughs> no, don't don't bring cost. that back, my brother. No, we gotta bring that back. Because after that, <laughs> what, that what, what did you do after that? Right after that, you killed the guy, bro. You're like, no way, bro. Right? Like, after yeah. that, you're like, man, now I'm going to kill you. Like, you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the, ref, the ref does tell you in the back, like, do not stop until I pull you yeah. off. I remember that specifically. <laughs> yeah, bro, you can't do these yeah. knockoff... Knockout, walk off. No, no, no more. No, no. way. No, it more. could, it could play out be. well if it doesn't work in your favor. You know, it doesn't play out yeah. well if the guy gets back up. Especially yeah. if you cannot afford to lose, my brother. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jason, I, 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 check I, over that. Yeah, I think just on the feet, if you really throw and the guy really gets out like dead on the floor, you don't need to follow up. But if the guys kind of stay there a little bit, you got. I have two knockouts like that. One was an uppercut. When I threw the uppercut, I felt my whole hand on the guy's cool. And then he went down with his own chin on his own knee. And then he was dead. And oh, then I, yeah. You can tell. You, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't need to give another one. But he, if he was a little bit there, we'd give a couple more. But he was he was dead. Like but Mo- oh Moicano, yeah. Moicano popped right up to his feet, though, like instantly. Yeah. No, that was Jalen messed up. Yeah, but like, one, yeah. to be honest, I didn't even remember that. I didn't even know it was a knockdown. <laughs> I, I just – Hey, I in Moicano's memory, he never got knocked down. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I went to the court and I said, hey, I think I won that round. And, and my coach, I don't think so. I think you need to go over there. <laughs> and put him on the ground and beat the shit out of me and say, okay, I'm going to do that. But I think I won the, the that's last hilarious. round. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's just like BSD after the first round, sitting down and say, hey, I yeah. won that. <laughs> <laughs> I, won, I think I won that round. And like, yeah. Well, with your face. Yeah. <laughs> this is BSD if he went to the corner and, and say, hey, I think I won that round. They say, hey, if you kill him the next round, you're going to tie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, what kind of what did you what did you think about this what Bisping said he said that you scored a 10-7 round and I also want to hear what you guys think about that in general because he said that yeah. technically by the scoring like criteria 10-8 round yes. should be a lot more common than it is you know typically yeah. and that a 10-7 I'll, round is should be scored more I'll, often what did you think about I'll, that I'll, I was just watching that video but you saw what he said he said like uh, uh, when we saw the fights at 10-10 Right, and the guy, if the guy did a little bit more, a little bit more is 10 9. If the guy dominate the guy kind of clear, he's a 10 8. And like one more, he kind of did with BSD, he killed the guy, took the guy down, beat him up. That's a 10 7. He said that's the criteria, no one does that, but that should be way more clear, right? Like nothing happened 10 10. Oh, the guy did a little bit more 10 9. The guy dominate 10 8, and the guy like killed the guy. It's a 10 7. I would love to have that more, but I think no one does that. Yeah, I've yeah, never heard of a 10 7 round, but if there was one, it'd be Moicano. Yeah, Ilya, uh, Ilya, yeah. I don't Ilya know. I had one before... against uh, Josh Emmett. I think Taporia had one against Josh oh, really? Emmett, but he beat the brakes off him. Though. I couldn't believe he didn't finish him. It was a five round beatdown. Did every I single think... judge score it? Yeah. That? I think so. I'd have to look it up. I think before we start to talk about 10 7, 10 8, we have to get Saudamato out oh, of the brother. Wow. <laughs> because and, and, because and I don't like, the, I I don't like the other one too. Chris Lee. I think Chris Lee and Saudi Amaro. Do you remember the ben. last card before the last weekend? <clears throat> he got every fight wrong. Every fight wrong. Yeah. R- right. Unbelievable, my brother. So uh doesn't matter if it's 10-8, um, if it's 10-7. Yeah. I think they're not going to change the fight. Yeah. I'll tell yeah, you one thing. Yeah, better judges. I think it's better judges. I, yeah, that was true. That was horrible. Remember who was? You remember who was, Matty, that we were looking like, wow, how did he judge that? This past card? The one no, before. the last one. Two cards. Yeah, and there the was four before. split the decisions tire. on one, the one tire. card. Yeah, tire. four split decisions. Yeah. yeah. He got he, he saw Tyra winning the fight. He saw Tyra league. winning the fight. Crazy, I saw bro. someone. I saw someone tweet. They were like, "We got to check Saudi Amato's DraftKings account on some of these fights." Yeah, <laughs> he's getting paid to 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 oh, screw man. up, my brother. Hey, Saudi Amato, not just respect for you, but maybe <laughs> maybe you know that's true, right? Gambling's evil, bro. Gambling's, Gambling's evil, evil, brother. That's true. <laughs> tell wow. this to this motherfucker, brother. Let me tell you something. I have a Portuguese channel in, on YouTube. And I got every fight wrong. Every. Oh. You remember the last time? <laughs> well, kind of, you know, it's fight, funny. Right? I got every fight wrong. So please don't bet, my brother. If you bet, you're going to lose your fucking house. Moicano, there's literally a note Roman, uh, our head of content, put on the Google Doc. He said, ask Moicano about getting every pick wrong. <laughs> every pick wrong, my brother. Every pick wrong. People are mad at me. People saying that I lose money. I say, brother, you're going to believe us, a motherfucker on the YouTube to make your baddie? That's, <laughs> That's what people do, brother. They watch you. Yeah. They watch MMA Guru. They watch all these guys, and they just blindly uh, put money down. Unbelievable. But don't do that. Don't gamble. Buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin, <laughs> buy rentals, invest yeah, your yes. money, yes, invest in the yeah. stock market. Oh, so many. Not right now. Not you right heard, now. Matty? You heard now. what they said, Matty? Hey, I do. To be fair, I do all of that, but I do gamble as well. <laughs> but the, the the problem is, Matty makes money off people lose money. No, that's the no, the strategy. No, no. <laughs> right? I make money off. I make uh, so I make money off referrals, <laughs> but I don't make money off people's losses. I, I don't believe in that. I hate that. There's a okay, lot of I'm sorry. there's a lot I'm of being, uh, I'm being bad oh, you, over you here. You make money from refer, referring people. Yeah, to so that. look, all right, so okay. here, here I'm yeah, gonna tell you guys. Codes, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm a, so at a high level, just real quick. So 
there's two types of ways like affiliate model you can work with sports books or daily fantasy sports apps. i'm sure you guys see all the fighters that work like prize picks or my bookie right? right you can do rev share deals where you're literally making money off of people's losses i don't believe in that i hate that because that's if no, I'm that's out, unbelievable. That's yeah, if I'm giving out, up, bro, yeah. that's that's <laughs> that's seventy percent of the industry does that. A lot okay? of people do that. A hundred percent because it's very yeah. lucrative. You, guys don't you get mailbox that. Let me over here, okay? Bro, you get mailbox money every month doing that. The other option is you get what's called a CPA deal, a cost per acquisition deal. I get paid a referral fee per person that just makes an account with my code and deposits. I have thousands of gamblers a day that DM me and ask where can I bet. If if I'm sending them somewhere, <laughs> why would I not get paid by the apps? Right, the, the the user gets free money with my code, I get paid, and the book gets a new customer. So that's a win win for everyone. So that's why I do deals like that. Unless I think they it, lose money, well, <laughs> yeah, lose for them. but they're gonna bet anyway, regardless, right? They're gonna, yeah, that's gamblers, that's, gamblers that's are gonna true. gamble, you know. So it's well, let's legal, talk. it's whatever. Yeah, it's, yeah. So. People are gonna choose, pick their poison. You know, people have their vices. Yeah, but we haven't talked much about your fight, Johnny. I want to ask you a question because I don't even know that I understand this, and I, I don't. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that that. Uh, are curious as well. So you technically defended your, your Bellator belt, right? At the PFL event. So can you explain how that works? Like, are you now the Bellator champ and PFL champ or how, how does that work tech from a technical standpoint? Now? Yes. Just say yes. But they answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. no, I'm just curious. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, so you Bellator the, champion. And I defended champion. my Bellator yeah. championship. Yeah. But like the, the collaborative card that we did, I'm like the PFL Bellator champion as well like they do chance versus champs so we matched a pfl champion with a bellator champion and i won so until that happens again i don't know if i'd be defending it because i think it's like every season at the end of every season there's a new uh chance versus champs belt so but i would say yeah right now i'm i'm the middleweight bellator and pfl champion cool and and johnny do you like that that kind of style like the tournaments and would you be willing to, to do the tournament? I think it's a good style to have when you have the right roster in that weight division. Because yeah. if you try to run a tournament in every weight class, it gets very, very complicated. And you have, to have, you have a bunch of fights, and you have to get them all to fight on so many cards throughout the year. And then when you do the finale – Bro, do you know how many title fights that is? you know how long that card's going to be? Like, it's too long. So it's like, I think you can make it work if you split it up. Yeah, I, that's what um, I think, too. Yeah, but I think when Bellator uh, was run, running uh, by themselves, I think they did the tournament structure the best because what they would do is they would run everything like the UFC, like any other promotion would run it, right? But when you are, yeah. whenever you have like a group of guys that are like, damn, these are some bad motherfuckers. I want to put them in a tournament and see who comes out on top. And I think Mike Kogan has a really had a really good structure when it came to creating tournaments. And he would only create a tournament for a division that he deserved needed a tournament. And then, you know, then you only have one tournament going on, and then the rest of the, the rest of the weight classes are running like normal. And then you can just kind of operate however you want with that. But when it comes to like a season and playoffs and a championship and every single weight division has a tournament it gets very very complicated and you have a lot of fights and you get a lot of rematches that's the problem like with kayla harrison you know you run through the roster next thing you know you're fighting pacheco three times yeah like what yeah, yeah. we don't need to see this like we've seen it yeah, I mean, yeah. granted she won the last time but like it's 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 uh you get a lot of rematches a lot of uh a lot of the same fights you know so that's my take. Who, who is your manager, Johnny? Brian Butler at uh, Sucker Punch. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Good guy. Great guy. Nice. Nice. Because I, I think now, I think, you know, my opinion is not a fact, but now you got to be everywhere now. You got to make Johnny famous now to make that big name to eventually get to the, you know, or if you don't, it's kind of hard to say because I'm kind of be, I'm being biased to the UFC, but le, le, I think they got to put you in a position that you can, that's going to be an option. Or this guy got to give a chunk of money to you stay on a Bellator PFL yeah. or you go to the UFC, you know. But I think you, you are one of the most dominant champions right now. 
especially if we look at, at the, your division in the UFC, not a lot of guys with your style. So I think your style is going to do very good. And let's not go crazy. At, at least in the top three, top five, I think you're going to do great over the guys. You don't need to, to start a running. But but you know what I mean? I think your goal right now is your manager mind. I'm going to put this guy on every podcast, everywhere, make this guy so big because eventually that contract is going to be at the end of the contract, it's, it's two, only two options. Or these guys give a load of money or he goes to the UFC. You know, I think that, that's where your mind is right now, too. Yeah, I think that's part partly where my mind is. I try not to think too much about uh, like social media stuff and becoming like famous. But I think I could do that organically by just yes. being really, really good at what I do and doing podcasts that I want to do like this podcast. Like I'm honestly super cool that uh you guys have me on um thank you john You're yeah the man. this is this is one of the podcasts is like if if mo like i get i get invited on a lot and i'm like i don't want to get on this one or i don't want to get on that one but like as soon as like show me the mo money podcast hell yeah i'm going to be on that podcast um <laughs> let's go but i think oh. organically look at maddie Left. if they can get me on you know bigger podcasts that i actually want to be on um it will build my name. And then if I continue to win, continue to do what I do. Um, I think you're right, Gilbert. I, I need to get my management to focus more on this aspect. So I don't really have to do too much. And then when it comes to fights, I'm doing my thing. And then when it comes to like the end of this contract and I'm a free agent and I have two choices or maybe three, I don't know if one is going to be around or not. Um, then, then we're talking big, big money. I mean, I'm getting paid well now. But relative to what, what I've seen with like some of the, uh, the pay-per-view point deals uh, in the UFC and all that, I mean, there's bigger money on the, on the horizon, I think. So um, I just need to set, set, my, uh, set myself up with success in the future and just continue to win, continue to, to get better. And uh, I think it will all play out in my favor. Yeah, that's true. And, and, and the UFC does such a good job on doing just pay-per-view points for champion because everybody wants to be the champion. This is like the the employee of the month with the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, everybody hey, works twice as hard, but just <laughs> one get the pay-per-view points, my brother. Everybody Mokata. wants the pay-per-view points. Everybody wants the pay-per-view points. Especially like, on, like if Connor comes back, ever if he ever comes back, like you want to be on that card. And you have yeah. genius, brother. They say, work hard <laughs> one day. <laughs> You're gonna get the pay-per-view points, my brother. Keep working. Everybody just follow the, you know, the, yeah. the pay-per-view points. Employee of the month. <laughs> Employee of the month. We kind of speaking about McDonald's. What do you think about uh, Donald Trump at McDonald's? Oh and I don't know if this <laughs> is true or not, but someone told me that Kamala Harris, uh, like, referenced working at McDonald's, and then McDonald's yeah, came out came out and said she never worked there. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah, wow. I didn't know about that. I mean, come on, bro. But, 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 I, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I think, uh, like, I, like I say before, I like Donald Trump just because the other, the other side is worse, my brother. You, you, we can tell. Go to the economy, see the economy. But every politician, they're going to play the games, right? Mm -hmm. the, these games, like they go to McDonald's, everybody say, ah, he, he's related with us. You, for me, you have to realize government is the problem, you know? Mm -hmm. But that is... There is worse politicians and there is better politicians. Right, right now it's clear. And another thing that I'm mad is, you remember when you say, now is the right time to bet in Donald Trump. I was willing to put $10,000. He was the underdog. And, yeah. and right now he's fucking dominate the polls, my brother. You, bro. so, been, yeah, you yeah. told me. Right now, I don't think I'm going to make a lot of money, but I will bet Donald Trump in the next few weeks, my brother. <laughs> hey, you got to make that. You're making that video. I introduced you to that company. Yeah, I, I will. I'm going to uh, yeah. call in uh, th this this week, yeah. this week, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. And <laughs> let, you, <laughs> let you send that. Don't worry, bro. Let him be there. He's trying Don't to be famous, worry. bro. <laughs> no, let, let him. He needs to go to this school in a couple of minutes. <laughs> so so uh, I'm definitely going to make the video. And like I say, brother, I, I, I don't trust politicians. Nobody that is here. Yeah. Is here because somebody put you in there. You know, I know Gilbert yeah. Burns for a long time, hard worker, 
uh, uh, Johnny, hard worker, Mary, the generate gambler. Some people have just left. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that, that's my whole thing. I don't believe in government. I don't believe. Of course, I, I, I'm not saying we should live without government, but I'm saying nothing comes for free. Yeah, and for sure. I will, if I could vote, I would vote Donald Trump just because uh, the other side is worse, you know? You can't so, vote? And not, and not so much that. No. Like for me, like it was because RFK and, and Elon really support Trump. And oh, yeah. I actually, like, I really agree with RFK, a lot of his policies. And I, I agree with, with uh, or I, I like Elon. He does a lot for yeah. society, you know? So yeah. the fact that these guys are backing him, I'm like, I, want, I wasn't a huge Trump fan. I like Trump, but it's like, well, these guys are really backing them. Like, I have to vote for Trump, you know? Yeah. Brother, if Kamala wins, I'm going back to Brazil. I'm leaving. I tell this to them. <laughs> I'm moving to Switzerland. I'm leaving, I'm leaving yeah. yeah. Maybe not we Brazil because of that they have Not Lula, Brazil, so. too. Not Brazil, too. I'm not going to Brazil. Maybe, maybe, go, maybe El Salvador. Gilbert, where are you maybe El Salvador. El Salvador. Uh, maybe. <laughs> not El Salvador. <laughs> bro, you got to go to yeah, – I'm, I'm going to Switzerland, bro. Switzerland's Swiss, like Switzerland is nice. Switzerland, yeah. I might I go to Switzerland. It's one of the best countries to live in. We kind of yeah. we, we can bring you back to Paris, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> no Paris. Imagine, fuck, yeah. imagine, fuck Macron. But guess what? Guess what? Pa Paris. The only problem that I had with Paris right now is they they take a lot of money, my brother. And I hate socialism too, my brother. If you're gonna get my money to invest in policies that I don't agree, fuck you and. and yeah whole Europe uh, is going like that, but fuck, brother. Let, let's let's talk about MMA politics. Yeah. Let's talk. So we, we we got to build one parlay for the for the show. Uh, and guys, if you're watching right now, you better put Max Holloway and, and we hey, take on this that fucking be parlay. Like, so there's so there's four of us on the show today. So we'll each give out one pick that we believe is not going to lose this weekend. Hey, at USC, look at the card. Hold get up. Yeah. get 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 crazy or not, but. I'm telling you right now again, once again, I'm I'm, I'm telling you guys. Yeah, and I, I'm a huge Max Holloway fan, but yeah. Ilya Topuria is winning that fight. Yeah, Gilbert. G Gilbert said Ilya just knock be knocking out his teammates. Bro, but he always Gilbert, picks Ilya, but bro. Doesn't matter. Yeah. In a I do remember you saying that. In uh, a gambling perspective, Max has plus money. You should put, put some money, money on me, right? You, me, I should. I, I, I'm not putting any money. We gotta no, no. But we all gotta agree on the <laughs> but, picks. Hey, we gotta agree. So. Hey. Uh, Topuri is winning the fight, unfortunately. Okay, like so let me tell you something. Orobai yeah, yeah. is not losing. Can, you can put him on the parlay. Uh, Orobai. Yeah, I, I like agree. I'm in on that. I'm in on that. All right, so Orobai is a minus 330 over Rebecca. Uh, and, uh, that's that's going to be and leg the, one. The other Russian too that is fighting the Brazilian guy now, the Russian from ATT, Fakejini. Uh, Abu, Abu Magomedov. Yeah, yeah. Rinat. Rinat. Rinat is not losing too. R Renat's not losing too. He's gonna if he if he wants strike with that guy, he can. But if he lands one okay. take down the fight, I like. Let me I check. Love, the I like Fakir Dinov. He's he's really good. Fakir Dinov. Yeah, Fakir Dinov. Yeah, Fakir Dinov. Dinov. Okay, so all right, so we got two. So first of all, guys, if you guys want to put a parlay in, check out our sponsor Fliff. It's in the YouTube description. Use code Show Me, and you can get some free coin for this weekend. Just look at We're going to start with two picture. prelim yeah, fights. This is a good, this is a good it's card. A, it's a stacked card. So oh, we'll start with two yeah, prelim fights, stack. and then we'll probably do two main card picks. Gilbert my, and Moicano. My pick is Orobai. Yeah, so Gilbert and Moicano, we're going to go Fokker Dino where, on money bro? line. <laughs> where are you, bro? Where you at, bro? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking to the card. I'm trying to do <laughs> no. the fights. But look <laughs> at your computer, bro. Don't look at your phone. <laughs> All right, so we got Fakir Dinov as leg one. We got Orobai as, as leg two. Uh, so then Johnny and I will each give out a leg. There's some good fights on the main card. We got Ankalaya versus Rockage. We got Murphy wow, versus Ige. Killer. Yeah. Murphy looked really good in that Barboza fight, but Dan Ige's a dog, man. I like Dan Ige. And he can yeah. Have bro. I, like, I like Dan Ige too, but I like the other guy. Not losing. Fight. Yeah, the little little Murphy. Not Le, the, yeah, little, little Murphy's winning that fight. Unfortunately, I like I like Deci uh, decision probably. I haven't I watched like the decision probably. Lot. Yeah, yeah, decision. But little we'll Murphy's that, winning that fight. Let's keep that one off then. Unfortunately, what do you think so, of Mag Magomed uh, and Petroskian? Ah, uh, yeah. the 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 blind guy, the one eye guy. <laughs> the blind. Guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but, it's a, uh, so ginger so Mag- the ginger dog. So is Shara is a minus one seventy eight favorite. Armin Shara, Petrosian. Shara is not losing to Petrosian. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's going to lose to Petrosian. I lo- I know Petrosian. I I, I like him. I think uh, it's going to be pick? a good fight. But all right, we'll go with that then. So yeah. so you're going to go Magomedov. He's a minus one seventy eight favorite. So I got to give us the fourth leg here. Robert Whitaker. Uh, I c- should I go with the dog, Robert Whitaker? That, let's do two parlays. Matty, two parlays. One that is very safe, and other one for uh, the so let me let me pick a safe leg to conclude this then. And we're safe, gonna lose safe, Hold on, hold on. I gotta safe, ask. I need a. Safe, I need a unanimous. I, I have a safe leg. Safe right. leg is Geoff New. Unfortunately, I want my guy RDA to win, but safe, safe leg Look. is Geoff New. Hey, Gilbert is a hater, brother. RDA hater, my brother. RDA is my guy. I want. I want him to lose, my brother. But, Hold on, I gotta ask. I gotta ask. Jeff yeah. New, Jeff I, New is the winning. I got Neil that. I, I got. The, I got Neil on that one. All right, we can go one of two ways here. We go Jeff Neil over RDA, or do you guys like Ankalaev over Rockic? No, like, that's a tough I like fight. Neil, no. yeah, I like uh, no, uh, that's RDA. Tough. Neil over uh, RDA is definitely safer. All right, so we'll build safe, a safe safe. We'll build a, a safe parlay here. We're going Jeff Neil money line, Oral by money line. We're going uh, Leran Murphy. No, no, you Parker didn't pick Murphy. Dinov. Parker Parker Dinov Dinov. I think Lerani Murphy is a, is uh, a Murphy safe too. Fa- He's a winning. He's a safe He's too. I like him. I like Lerani Murphy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was your original pick, Moikana? Was it Murphy? Uh, Parker Dinov. Oro Bay, Parker Dinov, Jeff New, and Lerani Murphy. No? I'm missing Johnny's. Who's Johnny's? Uh, I have oh, Johnny's. Sharabula. 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 Okay. All, right. All right, here we go. Here's yeah, the first yeah, one. Shadabula. I'm going to read off the first one. If you guys want to tail this, go over to Fliff. The link is in the description. Code show. Don't bet, my brother. Don't bet. Go to the app, use the code, but don't bet. All right. You know, go to that. Put one dollar. Code, don't bet. (laughs) Leg one, we're going Orlebi. Leg two, we're going (laughs) Fokker Dinoff. Leg three, Jeff Neal. Leg four, Shara Magomedov. $100 pays $388 total. You guys can tail that on Fliff if you'd like. Let's now build an underdog or just a long shot parlay because I know we like some dogs on this card. So I'll go right to Moy. I'll go to Gilbert it's first. Like Gilbert's, fun. Should really- I'll be honest, Johnny. Gilbert is the king of do- of, of dogs. He picks so many yeah. good underdogs. He took his guy uh, uh, Cortez Acosta to beat uh, Rebellis. Who else? You, you have some really good dog picks, Gilbert. <laughs> Oh, I had man, a match man. All the way on, on Justin Gagey. Over remember? Gagey, yeah. yeah. So who's uh, your dog? Who's your dog of the card? Uh, it has to be Max Holloway, right? No, I, I'm not going with Max Holloway. I'm going with her. I think I think uh, I think Elia Topur is going to win, but I'm going with Whitaker is a bigger dog too, right? They're the same. They're two to one. I think uh, I have a, a good dog. I have Whittaker. a good dog on this card. Oh, Bruno got. Ferreira is a good dog. I'm, you think? And, he's, and he's, the craziest, and my my craziest pick on that whole card, you won't believe it. Who it is? Who you think is my craziest pick on that card? It's a dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a dog. Uh, hold on, it's prelims or main card? Oh, come on, uh, main on, card. Let me look, let me look. He's a main card, but that's uh, too easy. You think it's Rockage? How about we? Rockage is really? my pick. Yes. I could see it that. would be crazy if if he beats Uncle Live after you know all the controversy and Uncle Live. Hey, that would be good for Brazilians, my brother. I think yeah. he can That's do why it. That's why he's speaking. I'm gonna call that. I think he will do it. How I, agree, I, I agree with I agree with him on that one. Decision or KO? Uh, he haven't KO anyone lately, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think decision. Decision. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, he was looking really good against Prohaska until Prohaska just walked him down and said, uh, I'm just coming. You know, I'm just coming uh, forward. And- yeah. Until his eyes open and then yeah. <laughs> G Ree was coming. Oh my God. Like- <clears throat> All right, so we got uh let me see here. So you're gonna go with Rockage and uh Moikana's gonna go with No, but go with her, with her. Yeah, give me oh, so you're on Whitaker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going Max do... Hollander. Holloway? Don't do that. Don't do that, Moikana. We you, we cannot have the same fights. You can. You can. You can. You can. But I think Topur is going to win. I think Topur is going to win. You you really pick Max Holloway? No, no, no. You're so confident. I'm not going to. 
throw my money like that. <laughs> so, you I'm know, it's crazy. The over under uh, uh, underdog. No, uh, his favorite, and yeah. he's gonna he's destroy favorite? the other guy. Yeah, he's gonna destroy yeah. the yeah. yeah, yeah. He's gonna destroy the guy. Yeah, that's a fight that I'm really confident. That's another this fight. This guy, Bashar, you should. Oh, well, we already did that one. Damn. Yeah. Man, uh, Basharat is not fucking. The guy is a monster, bro. He's a monster. Thirty-five, fucking monster. Bro. Why you don't put Basharat on the other parlay? I because. forgot. I, I just, I just noticed he was on on the card. All right, so look at the screen. If there's one guy we want to take off and sub in Basharat, who would it be? Yeah, I, let's take off. Uh, I think Neil, honestly. Just Neil, on the price take off board. Neil. Yeah, he's too right. too big of a favorite. Yeah, take off Neil. All right. Oh yeah. Let me, re let me redo it then. Bostroff is a huge favorite though. He's minus six seventy. That's crazy. Oh fuck, he's a big ah, so so the last leave, so leave, leave it. Yeah, keep so Jeff New. Keep uh, Jeff New. Yeah. Keep yeah. All right, let's yeah. leave it. All right, all right. Let's build this. This so, is the safe parlay. Yeah, safe parlay. Yeah. Now uh, you just throw ten thousand dollars. The generator. <laughs> is that if this is the safe one? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. More can. If you could bet, how much money you put on that parlay? If you could. On this palais, hundred dollars, my brother, hundred bucks. <laughs> hey, he would have put ten thousand on. Uh, what fight was that? <laughs> Rena problema. No, no, no. I put, no. Uh, Sha Jose Sha Aldo. Sha when the when best I was at Hard Rock with with Moicano, he was like, "Bro, just go put ten thousand on Jose Aldo," and then Aldo got held up against yeah, the cage but, for three rounds. But the problem was, <laughs> the, the problem was the referees, my brother. Yeah, Aldo that's what clearly happens you won gamble, the fight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that was a good technique you saw i made i made money on the roulette bro. and then what happened at the end tell them what happened at the end. <laughs> i lost everything because you were in a rush i was doing the technique and you it was doing good and then and then match no put everything on the red then you're gonna win and i lost I that's the that. truth no yeah he was he grinded out of a nice win and then the whole night at the end of the night put all his profit on one bet Oh. It's brother, it's unbelievable. This guy's a degenerate. I saw him losing eighty thousand eight thousand dollars in, in, in fucking two hours, bro. He's not eighty, yeah, eight. It was six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. Six happens, eight bro. was eight. Might you lost eight. six Might on, on just on the blackjack, my brother. Did you see my run this weekend though? No. How much? I, I, at Coconut Creek I ran twelve thousand to sixty five thousand in blackjack in three hours at at a high. How do you live like that, my brother? How are you sleeping? How do you live like that? That's unbelievable. That's crazy, bro. I couldn't yeah. live like that. Yeah, that's just, just fucking crazy. anxious all the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time, brother. I lost two. I lost twenty thousand yesterday. Fuck. <laughs> oh. uh, how about that fight here, Ferreira and uh and uh Magomedov? Magomedov. Yeah. We, we already took. We already took Maga Magomedov. No, no, but who? who Oh, you got Mogomedov on that first parlay? First part that, yeah. No. I like that. Yeah, no, no, no. This is Bruno Ferreira no, versus Mogomedov. I said Bruno Ferreira. Ah, ah, okay. Bruno Ferreira. Hey, Bruno Ferreira for this fight is a good favorite. Uh, uh, Abus Mogomedov is not that good. He's strong on the uh, first round. How, yeah. yeah, how is the odds on the, on this fight? Bruno Ferreira is an underdog. Plus 120, yeah. Plus 120. I think he's good... winning that fight. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's a good bet. Uh, I'm down for that. All right, so here's what we got. We got Whitaker plus 200, Rockets plus 280, Bruno Ferreira plus 120. We want to go one more one more dog. Or is no, that, that's is good, that, my brother. That's, you, good, you, you, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's plenty of. All right, 100 is gonna pay. Wow, 2500. 100 pays 2500. Damn. So oh, put a thousand, my brother. Put a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> that's good odds over there, my brother. Put a thousand dollars. What's a thousand dollar to Maddie Batsman, brother? That's yeah. fucking nothing. Nothing. That's a that's a good one, bro. That's a good that's a good dog parlay. Hey, hey, but uh, is if it gets down to Whitaker, if it gets down to the really Whitaker baddie? fight, it's gonna be a sweaty first round for us. Yeah, the first round's gonna be scary. Gilbert, FBA gonna ride your home, my brother. He can come. Dude. Inside can information. Go. Inside information. <laughs> Insider information. <laughs> no, because Bruno Ferreira is a judo guy, but he's not judo like, not Caleb, but he's not judo like regular judo. You know, he's a, he has a very good takedown defense. I don't think that guy going to take him down, and that guy is very strong on the first round. 
Second yeah. round, he always fades a little bit. And Bruno Ferreira is a dog, bro. Second round, he's he, he, he can bro. He's not gonna get taken down. I think Bruno Ferreira wins this fight. So mm-hmm. if I had to pick right here, I'll pick uh, Farkadinov, the guy. Bara, what is his name? Barashat. Basharat. Basharat. Yeah. Basharat. The other fight, the heavyweight fight, I'm not touching. Mm-hmm. I'll go Bruno Ferreira, then Orobai, Jeff Neal. Charabula, Rakic, Leron Murphy, Whitaker, and Ilya Topuria. Those are my picks. Mm. I like it. All right, well, we got a three-leg there up on the screen. We also gave you guys the, the quote-unquote safe parlay, which is a four-leg. Quote-unquote safe parlay is a good yeah. quote-unquote. Yeah, very safe. <laughs> that's what I'm so. uh, what else we got? Anything else on the main card here? Anything else you guys want to go through? Let's see. That should be it. The Taporia fight. I would ask you, do you think Taporia can sub Max? Because that's like five to one no, odds. No, no, think? no, no. I, really? I think, I do think, uh, the way I see I think he can close that distance. He can yeah. he can get close. Uh, <clears throat> Max can get hit. So this guy, he may, he, I think they're going to start kicking a little bit each other. Max trying to control the distance. Topuri can mix it up with the takedowns. If he if he get a little a little bit of trouble with, with the distance, bro, that guy is very strong. He's underrated wrestling and grappling. Maybe yeah. not a submission, but he sub Bryce Mitchell. He sub a lot of guys. His submission is very good. Remember when he fought Ryan Hall? It's incredible. He don't even care. He just run through the guy. He's not afraid. Yeah. Very strong, good grappling, good wrestling, heavy hands, good boxing. I think he's gonna win submission. Submission might be hard, but I yeah. think he's the only one that can knock out uh, Max Holloway. I mean, Taporia said that his BJJ is better than his striking. I mean, that's his base. That's what he's that's, good. You know, that's bro. his background. Um, here's a crazy stat. Yeah, for back you guys. in the day, he used to shoot for takedowns all the time. Yeah, he's, here's, and, and here's, um, he when he came to the gym, bro. He's a we have Chu Dagestani, we have uh, Chu Chechenian, and we have those guys from Missouri wrestling. A uh, couple high level guys, you know, bro. He was taking everyone down with no problem, bro. And then when yeah. they, whenever they hits the floor, he was subbing these guys. That was a, when I was more aggressive. He was subbing yeah. all these guys, and on the feet, bro, big gloves, putting those guys to see, bro. Knocking one guy was out. Other guys, he put those guys to see with the big gloves, like the small gloves. Yeah, yeah, different. Story. That guy hits very different yeah. level, bro. I think. And I'm a huge uh, Max Holloway fan, but I think the are winning this fight. Yeah. Here's a crazy stat for you. So Max Holloway, most fights in UFC history without getting knocked out, 29 fights. He's absorbed 1,400 strikes to the head in his career. <laughs> Gilbert's like – Unbelievable. Not, not yeah, unbelievable. That's not, that's not healthy, my guy. In, but the, the only thing <laughs> is <laughs> – He looked very good against Justin Gage, right? He, he looked amazing against Justin Gage. But that was a 55. You saw his interview last week yeah, yeah. With, with Kevin Ayoli. What's up, yeah. You saw his interview? <laughs> yeah. Or no? I saw. Bro, you saw his I face saw. already? He was yeah. already cracked head already. Yeah, cut yeah. weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's getting old. He's, well, he's not old, but he's 31. He got those much heat that you just said. He got hit so many times. And now he's getting a heavy hitter. I'm not too confident on Max Holloway for this fight. Yeah, I like Ilya in the fight. I think he can put the striking together to then close the distance and get takedowns. Like, I think Ilya's a good promoter. He's like, let's stand and bang the first 10 seconds. He, yeah, he talks I, I shit. was asking about that. But when he jumps into the that. octagon, he's he's going to come with a game plan and a good approach. Like, well, like sure. And think 100%. about when Max fought uh, Volk, which is kind of similar as far as, like, size. And, you know, he kind of struggles against those short guys. And like like Tapori is just gonna come forward with big power, and then I think he's gonna try to just uh, close the distance and get the ground, get the the fight to the ground. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. What yeah. are you gonna say, Moicano? No, uh, I don't support home office, my brother. <laughs> no, but uh, no, uh, you, uh, you said that he was talking a lot. You know, said the first ten seconds. Ah, uh, yeah. No, he's saying that he's gonna. Do the thing, you know, point to the octagon, and I don't think he will do that. No, First, I think, I he, think he, he might do just to play, but people are mistaken because 
the the crazy thing about that fight that Max Holloway did that he was beating, he won the fight already, and then right. he he took a risk with the he have he won the fight already. He took a risk with freaking Justin Gage. Okay, or Justin was tired or whatever, but he took that risk. So in yeah. uh, in uh, fifty five, not at forty five. So it's not like oh I did on ten seconds did I gamble? No, he gambled worse because he did with the fight was already won. You know like. They're not going to do that in the beginning, my guy. It would be fun yeah. if they do it for the fans, but that w won't be smart for them. I don't think they will do that. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I like Max Holloway better on the 55. He looked very good. I too. Too. And I don't know. That's what I said. I think, hey, I think 45 Mercado, for him is going to be did you tough. see? Did you see the rankings today? No. Dude, they randomly moved Holloway up like three spots at lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> they just wow. moved him up. Randomly. Just to build up the fight this week. He's like, dude. Hold Who's there? Caio is there? Pull that up. I want to see that. that, that. Caio is on that. vacation, my brother. Where's Caio at? The level oh, just he's on, he's on a cruise bro. ship right now. Wow. Uh, uh, all right, I'm going to work John, on that too, bro. So, I'm so, going to so, work. So listen, <laughs> John, so, so John Morgan tweeted out the rankings this morning. So it's now Islam, Armin, Oliveira, Gagey, Poirier, Holloway. Holloway is now number five at lightweight after fighting oh. once. In lightweight. What? Well, right? Ronnie Moicano yeah. at 11, bro. This is bullshit. Yeah, but it is what it is. Soon yep. uh, we have fight news. And I'm telling Let's you, go. 2025, a title shot, my brother, for Let's Ronnie go. Moicano. And then employee of the month, my brother. <laughs> Ronnie so, Moicano era. Pay per view points. Hey, exactly, we need a McDonald's hat for Moicano. Era. We need a money Moicano era, bro. Yeah, let's can you, fucking go. Can, can you pull that up right there? I have, no, I don't. I can't believe these guys talk Here, fight. Me, yeah, I'm sending it to Mike right now. Uh, yeah, we'll just take a look at that. I just texted it to you, Mike. You can put it up on the screen. Yeah, so I couldn't believe that. Like that has to be. And they didn't move more Colonel. Well, no. no, isn't it the timing of that has to be just you know relative to him fighting this weekend, Makes right? Sense. Why would it? Why would they move him up randomly like that? Yeah. yeah. It's just crazy. Helps promote it a bit more. Yeah. Makes it a bigger deal too. By the way, yeah. while Mike's pulling that up, and Homer Fight posted this, I think today or yesterday. But Ilya's one weakness is getting head kicked to the right side. You know, he's taking a head kick from three three separate fights. Moikata, do you think that's something wow. that uh, that uh, Max Holloway can can uh, can do to him? Wow, the I don't think so. Respect, you know? I don't think so. Max Holloway yeah. he usually doesn't. Doesn't doesn't throw head kicks, yeah. He throws, but not. He's not. Yeah. Uh, look. look at Max Max Holloway number five, and then then Hooker six. My hey, that's a turtle too, right? There's another turtle in the three, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they got <laughs> down hook a six. Yeah, yeah they, they got, got they got two turtles, turtles on the three now, right. Boycano. We yeah. gotta do another meme no, with but, two turtles no, now. But, yeah, but Max Holloway is a fucking legend, brother. Not gonna, no, not gonna I fuck know, shit up. but why? He's not him. He's who did the ranks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Benil number eight, Chandler seven, then Hooker six. Boycano don't move. Yeah, I don't know why they would they would move Max up now when he beat Gaethje so long ago. Wow, he didn't see that. He didn't see that. Rafael dos Anjos was fourteen. No. Now Rafael is fifteen, and Patty Pimble is number fourteen. Wow. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> they moved Patty up, bro. They didn't even move you up. The level of disrespect. Yeah. They moved Patty. We no, beat him. Check out what you left on the college. Vai lá. They 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 bring Patty up. <laughs> With nothing, and then we'll move no Moicano. Wow, bro. <laughs> hey, we gotta do a video right now. We're killing these guys, Moicano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, hey. All right, well, let's wrong. wrap up, Better. fellas. Moicano, tell the people what they need to do, bro. Uh, what's up, everybody? Let's go. Let me get my head, brother. My. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Brother, just wake up, my brother. Hey, <laughs> everybody, subscribe. Share and the like button, my brother. Thank you so much, Johnny. You're the best middleweight of the world, my brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you, Matty. Thank, thank you, you Johnny. Let's thank go. you, bro. Thanks for Appreciate having me. Appreciate you, guys. Johnny. Appreciate, Appreciate you, Johnny. Appreciate you, guys. Take care.